Today we're going to learn a couple techniques for using watercolor on our paper. You'll see I've collected my supplies. We're actually going to start with a pan watercolor set, which is what you would typically call the Crayola version that you've probably used before. We're going to start with a wet brush technique. And you'll notice that I start by getting my brush wet and then bringing the wet brush over to the pan where I load up my brushes with as much paint as I can. And I'm going to put it on my paper and make a mark. Now if we look at the way the paint applies to the paper, you'll see it goes on nice and smoothly. And it also changes as you go from the top to the bottom of the line. The paint wears off the brush, and you'll see that it starts very wet, and then a little more vibrant at the beginning, and tapers off at the end. Our next technique is a dry brush. For this we're going to add a piece of paper towel to our supplies. This is going to be used to blot some of the extra water off the brush before we add it to the paper. You'll see I begin by getting my brush a little wet and then loading up some paint from the pan. But before I put it to the paper, I'm going to dab off some of that excess water on my tissue paper. I'm going to do this over and over again until I can load up my brush with as much paint as I can possibly do. Now I'm ready to put it on the paper. Now as you watch this line appear on the paper, you'll notice that it goes on a lot more consistently and the color is a lot more vibrant. At the beginning of the line, you'll notice that it's even more vibrant as there's more paint th at the beginning. As it tapers at the end, you'll also notice that the bristles start to separate because they get a little drier. This creates some extra marks on your paper. And our third technique is a wash. For this technique, we're going to start with a wet piece of paper first. You'll see I can just use my brush to add some water to the paper. You'll see the sheen as I move the paper around. If I want a little more even or consistent application of the water, I can use something like a spray bottle. Now I'm going to load up my brush again with some paint. And watch how the paint appears to be affected on the paper. You'll notice that because the paper is wet, when the paint hits the paper, it spreads really quickly and really easily. You'll see at the bottom of the line where there was less water on the paper, the line goes back to kind of a wet brush look. Now you'll see that you can move the paper around to blend your colors. This is really great for big open areas of color where you don't need a lot of detail, but you want to have some nice soft coloring. So let's look at them all side by side. On the left, we have our wet brush. In the middle, we have our dry brush. And our third is the wash. Now we're going to try a different type of watercolor called liquid watercolor. On the side, you'll find a label with the name of the color. I would recommend always double checking this label just to make sure it's the color you expect it to be. We're also going to use these little ketchup cups. And we're going to use these to mix our watercolor with some water to get the right consistency and vibrancy of the paint. You'll find that right out of the bottle, this color is very bold and very colorful. And if you want that, that's great. If you don't want such a vibrant color, you might need to add some water to dilute it. So what we're going to do is make three different mixtures. One is straight from the bottle. One is about a one-to-one -one mixture of water and paint. And the third is mostly water and a little bit of paint. You'll see I ran out of water here, so I'm going to have to add a little bit more. So on the left we have straight from the bottle, in the middle we have a one-to-one, -one, and on the right we have mostly water and a little paint. Now let's see what this looks like when we add it to the piece of paper. So straight from the bottle you'll notice that it's very bold. The color comes out almost exactly what it looks like in the bottle. In the second one you'll notice that it's a little less vibrant, not as strong as the first line. And you can see it tapers to very light color at the end of the line. And in our watery mixture, you'll see that it's even less vibrant. And as this dries over time, it will get even lighter. Now, the most important part of this process is always the cleanup. Make sure you rinse the bristles and put the brush away, bristles side up. And that little ketchup cup, just toss it away. Well, thanks for watching this quick video on how to apply watercolor to your paper. We hope you enjoyed it, and we look forward to making more projects with you in the future.